Sports Hub is brought to you by Golf USA in Kearney and Grand Island. Hi, I'm Matt Shaner. I'm the GM and Director of Golf out here at Kearney Country Club. And we'd like to talk to you a little bit today about uh, how to manage your game and how to manage the golf course. Uh, some of you that have played out here at Kearney Country Club are familiar with our number 17. It's a par 5 and it has an island green. It is the only island green in the state of Nebraska. Um, a lot of people cannot get to this green in two and be putting for eagle. So it's important to, for that person to understand distance control and distances with their wedges. What we are going to do today is we've uh, picked three different yardages that we're going to be hitting some shots from and I want you to start thinking about what yardage you're most comfortable with hitting certain shots so that you have that yardage that, that you're called your go-to yardage and your go-to wedge so that you can get the ball within 10 feet and try making a putt to save, save yourself, make a birdie or save par. I like three different yardages. I like 100 yards, I like 90 yards, and I like 80 yards. A lot of you will have two or three wedges in your golf bag. I happen to have three wedges in my golf bag and I have my 52 degree, my 56 degree and my 60 degree wedge. Each one of these wedges is important. My 52 degree wedge is my go to uh, club for my 100 yard shot. What I have here is about a 100 yard shot to this flag, flag stick. I'm hoping to get it somewhere within 15 to 20 feet so that I can actually have a chance to make a birdie. There we go. That's We're within feet. about eight feet. Got a chance to make a birdie. All right. Here's the yardage that I'm most comfortable with. I found a yardage for me where I know that I can make a 30 or about a 75% swing with my sand wedge or my 56 degree wedge and know that I've got a pretty good shot to get it within 10 feet. So I like to hit the golf ball to about 90 yards. That's my layup yardage, 90 to 95 yards. Then I know I can make a controlled swing, an aggressive swing, and try and get the ball somewhere around the hole. So let's, I've got my favorite yardage here. Let's see what happens when I make a swing. Now I pulled it a little bit, but it's about pin high. It's the right distance. I'm pin high so that if it was on line, I would have had a really good chance of making birdie. I still have a chance to make a birdie, but it's just gonna be a little longer putt because I, I pulled it a little bit. But other than that, my distance control was very good. Here I have a shot of about 80 yards or less. This shot is very difficult for me because I don't like to, to take half swings or three-quarter swings necessarily uh, unless I'm comfortable with it. So the closer I get to the hole, the, at 40, 50, 60 yards, I have a harder time judging distance and making an aggressive swing at the golf ball to help control the distance. Here with 80 yards, what I've got is my 60-degree wedge. I don't necessarily like to hit my 60-degree wedge a lot from this, from this distance. I usually mainly use my 60 degree wedge when I'm around the green I have to get up and down to try and make uh, when I've missed the green. But some people are comfortable with that 80 yard, 70 yard, 60 yard shot. We're going to attempt this 80 yard shot here and see how close I can get it again to see if we can make a, uh, have a good chance of making a birdie. As you can see, with that shot, I came up well short, even though I'm on the green. That 60 degree wedge is a little harder to control your trajectory with, especially for me. If you like to hit the ball really high, this might be a good club to, to, to use. I try to control my trajectory so that I can manage my distance control a little bit better. That's why this shot is a little more difficult for me, but for others, it can actually work for them. Today we talked about wedges and, and controlling distances and finding the distance that, that's very comfortable for you. You always want to try and get that golf ball as close to the hole as you can. So find that distance that you're most comfortable with and find that wedge that you're most comfortable with from that distance and learn to hit it the right distances to help control your trajectory. That'll leave you with shorter putts to try and make to help save your score. Golf USA is your one-stop golf shop in Kearney and Grand Island. Specializing in golf supplies, full repair services, and custom club fittings to meet the needs of golfers young and old. Golf USA, your internationally known, locally owned golf store in Kearney and Grand Island.